Well, Meta, the parent company of Facebook, under fire again from a woman's advocacy organization accusing the social media giant of discrimination. Real Women in Trucking has filed a complaint with the Equal Employment Opportunity Commission last week claiming that Facebook intentionally hides higher paying job advertisements from women and older workers. It's also stating Facebook's algorithm is pushing jobs like trucking, construction and manufacturing jobs solely to men and steering job ads like housekeeping and child care to women. This marks the second time Facebook was accused of discrimination. Back in 2019, the social media giant agreed to make changes to its ad platform. News Nation has reached out to Facebook and Meta for a statement. Facebook has not responded to our request, but we are joined right now by Desiree Wood, president and founder for Real Women in Trucking, and the lawyer representing them, Peter Romer Friedman. Thank you both for being with us. Desiree, the complaint actually shows that 75 Facebook ads were pulled, but how do those ads prove your claims of discrimination? Well, it's already difficult to find jobs in trucking. And in our charge, we have examples that show um, the frequency that they were shown to men as opposed to women. So, you know, women truck drivers look to Facebook uh, to find reliable information, including job ads. Uh, so when employers are trying to connect with us and we're trying to find them and the algorithm is hiding them from us, this it creates a problem. I do have one quick follow up for you before I get to your attorney. Isn't this a time when there are a lot of jobs for truckers out there? I mean, th there's just a, an enormous amount of opportunity, correct? There are there is a lot of opportunity, but there are not a lot of good employers. It is very difficult to find good employers and it's difficult to find employers that are encouraging women to apply for them. Mm. Peter, the complaint so, is a it's against the Facebook and Meta companies. Uh, the companies themselves, though, as, as Desiree's mentioning, those employers, wouldn't they be upset uh, that Facebook is potentially blocking their ads? They should. Uh, many companies uh, around the country want to reach w people of all ages, women, men, people of all genders. But when Facebook's algorithm decides who Facebook thinks should see the ad, who Facebook thinks will find the ad most relevant, we have these incredibly skewed outcomes where 1% of a lot of blue collar ads go uh, to women and 99% of those ad impressions go to men. I've talked to a lot of employers and their lawyers, and they are mad that they can't get their ads to uh, an equal group of men and women and people of all gender at all ages. They want to be equal opportunity employers, but Facebook and Meta are, are making that impossible. It's interesting. Uh, Desiree, when did you start noticing uh, this trend or just seeing that ads for jobs on Facebook were particularly like this? Well, uh, from our meetings with different labor advocates and talking to them uh, is when I learned about the problem and then going and talking to our members. And that's when we realized we really needed to do something about this. Peter, this is just a complaint right now to the EEOC, but could it become a lawsuit? It could. There are two courses of action that could take place. One is the federal government, the EEOC, as well as the Department of Justice could file a lawsuit uh, against Meta. Uh, if they don't want to do that, we would do that uh, on behalf of all of the workers who have been denied the job ads. And we expect the EEOC to investigate in the, in the coming months, hopefully wrap their investigation up within the year. I should say, though, the federal government has already decided uh, in past cases that this kind of conduct violates the law. So we, we expect that the federal government will collect the evidence that we provided them plenty of here in the complaint uh, and go to work. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.